Civilian casualties in Afghanistan have hit record levels for the seventh year in row in 2015, a United Nations report stated. The report suggests that children and women have paid a heavy price in the war-torn country amid a surge in attacks by armed groups. A report. Over 11,002 Afghan civilians have been killed and wounded in 2015 the highest number of casualties recorded since the study on Afghan civilian casualties due to armed conflicts began in 2009. At least 3,545 non-combatants have died and over 7,457 were injured as security forces faced a surge in attacks by the Taliban and other armed groups. The total number of civilian casualties in 2015 marked a 4% rise over the previous year record, the report said. Afghan women and children have paid heavy price as reports stated that one in four casualties was a child while one in ten was woman. As compared to previous year, women and child casualties in 2015 have increased by 37% and 14% respectively. Engagements killed and injured the most civilians, followed by IEDs, complex and suicide attacks. These tactics, combined with targeted killings, accounted for 90% of total civilian casualties. According to the report, anti-government elements were responsible for over 62% of casualties, while 14% casualties were caused by armed forces. The investigators have pointed heavy fighting in Afghanistan's northern city of Kunduz, which briefly fell to the Taliban in late September last year, and surge in insurgency in the capital city Kabul as the main factors behind the rise. The UN has documented nearly 59,000 deaths and injuries since it began systematically recording civilian casualties in Afghanistan in 2009.